You've seen the ads on Facebook. You want to know if you should order it. The Spiral Bible. Luckily for you, I ordered it so you don't have to. Not just yet. So stay tuned to the end of the video and we're going to find out if you should actually order this one for yourself. Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Wendy and let's get into the video. So like I said, I saw ads for this uh, Spiral Bible on Facebook because you know your girl was scrolling, not doom scrolling, just scrolling. And I thought it was a neat idea for a Bible that was spiral bound so that it would lay flat. Um, and it is also a journaling Bible so that you know you would have bigger and more, more bigger, no, <laughs> more space to take your notes. So let's bust this thing open. All right, let me grab my scissors. Um, like I said, I ordered it months ago, so I don't know where the box is, but I would guess that the box isn't really important right now. But how are you guys doing? This has gotta be like Bible number like 31 for me. I don't know, I have a lot of Bibles. And not just because I'm in seminary, I just, I find different uses for all the Bibles, so. I just, <laughs> most of my library is full of Bibles. Ask my husband, he will tell you no lies. I wanna know, how many Bibles do you have? How, how many are you actually using out of the ones you have? Like, I only use like three or four, but like I keep the rest of them around as reference or in case I wanna give them as a gift. But anyway, Spiral Bible, this is the New Testament, the American Standard Version, the Word of God for note takers. So, <laughs> hashtag Spiral Bible. It is made in the USA, and this is this is pretty thick, you guys. Pretty thick. And this is only the New Testament, okay? So, we have property of. Spiral Bible is trademarked, so don't try to don't try to infringe on that, people. I know you wouldn't. It's copyright 2022, so this is a a fairly new product. And let me zoom in for you so you can see the pages better. So this front page here, oh, and just so you know, the American Standard Version is officially the revised version, Standard American Edition. And it's a public domain Bible translated rooted in the original King James Bible of 1611, aiming to be both a readable and literally accurate modern English translation of the Bible for the 20th century. The ASV is the basis of the New American Standard Bible and the recovery version, and it was also the basis for Kenneth N. Taylor's Bible paraphrase, The Living Bible, which was published in 1971. So all of that is, all that information is on the inside cover. This page right here tells you um, about, you know, why you should interact with God's word, why it's good to take notes. And then of course there's a section to take notes on taking notes. And then let's see, I'll just fold it over here. So this next page is a one year spiral Bible reading plan. This is very interesting because this is a new Testament reading plan for 52 weeks. Um, and it tells you the subjects you're going to be reading about. So if you read Matthew chapters 1 through 6, you're going to read about Christ's birth. If you read Galatians 1 through 3, by faith. 2 Corinthians 1 through 6, the new covenant. And so on and so forth. So you can definitely, if you don't know what to read on a given day, you can definitely take this as inspiration and you know go through the New Testament in a year. You can go through the New Testament faster, but, you know, definitely take a look at this reading plan. And then there's notes on the other side, notes on the other side of that. And then we start right in with Matthew chapter one, verses one through 22. So basically you've got two thirds of the page here as the Bible text, and then the other one third ish uh, for your notes. And these are notes that, you know, if you are an experienced Bible journaler or artist, 
you probably draw in the margins of your Bible. I don't draw, I'm not an artist, but I do like to write and take notes. So I would probably be underlining or highlighting and then making the appropriate notes in, in the notes section. So that's the Gospel of Matthew. On the opposite side, it's laid out in the same way. And so basically, as we flip through, all the pages are laid out just like that. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a... Okay, so when one book ends, it just ends. So this is the end of the Gospel of John. And then we roll right into Acts of the Apostles. And so on and so forth. That's 1 Corinthians. I know you can't really see the text, but I'm not really trying to show you the text. I just want you to see the layout of the book. Second Peter, Revelation. And when we get to, there's even some, you know, there's some capital letters here, definitely in the internet age. And then as we get to the end, let me fix this really quickly. So we get to the end of Revelation. There's one, two, three more pages, three more full pages for notes. But indeed, there is no fluff here. It is the entire New Testament. It does, it does lay flat. Um, and but this is not something I would carry with me unless I was carrying it in a very large bag. This would be something I would just leave on the desk or leave on the table and work with at home. So should you buy the Spiral Bible? Yes, if you want to work through a particular set of books like the New Testament. They also have one for Psalm, the, uh, the Psalms, and then they, they have variations. But they last i checked they do not have the entire bible because as you can see just the new testament it's pretty thick so um you can just acquire them as they become available um, they typically have a 20 percent off coupon um, if you get on their email list um, if i have a discount code i'll put it in the description below but yeah if you just go to um, the spiral bible website you can probably find a discount code and then um there's different covers to choose from. I think there's a kid's one to choose from as well. But yeah, if you like to take notes in your Bible and your current Bible doesn't have one and you're ready to just jump in the Bible journaling train and bandwagon, definitely order the Spiral Bible. If you are not a note taker in your Bible, then you probably don't need it. But if you know someone who is, this will make a great gift. So. Either way, whether it's for you or for someone else, definitely order the Spiral Bible. I'm not affiliated with them, not yet anyway, and I just wanted to give you my honest opinion and review of the Spiral Bible. All right, so I'm sure you're wondering, well, what tools do I need to study the Bible? There's a lot going on, especially if you're into that prayer Bible stuff. So check out this video for Bible study recommendation tools and resources. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit ring the bell for a notification so you know when there's a new video. Until next time, bye.